I mean, children are being indoctrinated in this welcome to country. You rightly call it, quote, a celebration where we are treated as strangers trespassing on our own land that we don't have the right to call Australia home. And this is what they're being taught in the classroom. Australia Day, no, 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 celebration, no, not tomorrow. No, that's Invasion Day. They're being taught this stuff. Well, many parents my age and your age would remember uh, it used to be Monday morning. Every school around yep. Australia started with raising the flag. Yeah. There was the oath of allegiance. We swore uh, it was queen, country, God, respect. That word, respect teachers and authority. That went out the window many years ago because of the cultural left, this long march. So now they're taught welcome to country and you'd be lucky to have uh, anybody saluting the flag or getting a sense of patriotism. Yep. That's right. Because it's all about what Geoffrey Blaney, the mm. great historian, talked about the black armband. It here is. To, it is. We're strangers in our own land. I feel almost vomiting. I want to be sick when yes. I land in a Qantas plane yes. around Australia and, and they have this dirge, welcome to country. Apparently, I didn't realise this, Alan, they own the sea, the land and the air. Mm. I didn't know the Indigenous no. people owned the air as well. See, I mean, you make the point, and I've made it many times, but we've got to repeat this stuff. Those who argue for Invasion Day Ignore the fact, you say, that, quote, the orders given to the colony's first governor, Philip, were to treat Aborigines with respect and with kindness and to peacefully coexist. Now, even though a number of convicts were killed, Governor Philip refused to retaliate unless absolutely necessary. Our kids are not taught this. It's a matter of historical record, as you say, that Aborigines were, Aborigines were able to kill or severely wound 17 Europeans, including Governor Philip himself, with no loss to themselves. Children are not taught any of this stuff. Their minds are polluted because we are fermenting division by dividing the nation into two types of citizens. And you identify this, you say, those who have a direct line to executive government, to influence decision making, and the 96% denied such preferential treatment. By the way, I note today, uh, Dr. Kevin Donnelly, that the LGBTQI people are now saying, well, we want, we want a voice to government. They'll all be coming out of the woodwork, won't they? But th this is the point. I mean, how do our kids, how do we make our kids aware of this? If the parents don't, it won't happen in the classroom. You're dead right. And uh, how many kids, I, I'd say none, would know that when the first fleet landed, as you say, Philip was ordered to coexist. There was to be no slavery. There was to be no retaliation. But also two of the books that arrived with the first fleet, the Bible and the laws of the common laws of England, Blackstone's common laws of England. That is the basis of our Western liberal democracy. Mm. The French arrived, as you know, in Botany Bay a week after Philip. Yes. Imagine if they'd arrived first. Yes. They were soon, you know, the French Revolution, Madame mm. Guillotine. The fact is we've been settled by the British, the Irish, the Scottish. Mm. They, because of that, we have inherited one of the most peaceful, democratic, liberal governments and societies in the world. The world envies That's why us. millions. The world envies us. I mean, millions some, after the war want to come and live here. I mean, I've already made the point tonight. Can some of these Indigenous activists actually say thank you for the benefits they enjoy? I mean, Jacinda Price has been arguing that we should not be romanticising Aboriginal culture and history before European settlement as some kind of Antipodean Garden of Eden and promoting a black armband view of European settlement. I mean, that is not the truth, is it? I mean, I think you've said pre, Dr. Get, yeah. Donnelly wrote this, Dr. Donnelly wrote this, pre-European Aboriginal culture. That's prior to Governor Philip and the flag going up and so on. He says, like many other less developed cultures, was characterised by violence, ill health and inequality, especially for women. 